Shalom everybody, welcome to Yeshua Square and this is a uh, top 10 prayers uh, that you need as a Christian born again believer. Uh, anyone that believes in Jesus and uh, prays and uh, it's very important to pray. Jesus taught us uh, the example of how to pray. He prayed uh, to his father a lot and if it's important for Jesus, it's important for us. It's important to know what works and what doesn't work in terms of prayer. Now, as I said before in part one and part two, the prayers from the heart are the most important things um, in terms of touching God's heart. So just, it's important to be honest and genuine with God, but I'm just giving you in these prayers uh, what works and that I've learned over the many years, uh, what actually really works. I give you practical prayers that actually work. And today's ones are uh, more, I suppose, kind of like declarations, a little bit like declarations, but they're prayers as well. It's this one and the same and um, they're, they work. They work. So let's get into them. Okay. Number one, if you, the devil always attacks your thoughts and your mind. Okay. So he really goes for the mind of people. That's where he attacks the body as well. And if he can't attack you, he'll attack people around you uh, to, to, to change uh, your course or to change uh, history. Um, but it's, um, so it's important to Renew your mind, as the word of God says. But you can say this one. I take my thoughts captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ. So you're now putting your thoughts under the authority of Yahweh. Okay, so I take my thoughts captive to the obedience of Jesus Christ. Very powerful. Okay, so that's a prayer, but it's also a declaration. Okay, another one is, and that's from the word of God. Another one is create in me a clean heart and renew a right spirit in me. So you're asking God to clean you up and renew your spirit. Okay, it's very powerful. Um, if you're uh, going on um, a journey and you want a smooth transition on the journey, and um, this is a kind of a prayer that I would pray, um, Lord, send your angels ahead of this journey to remove any hindrances in our ways, clear all the obstacles in our way, cover us, the vehicle and the driver in the blood of Jesus. Okay, so ask the Lord to send his angels ahead of you to remove the hindrances and to cover you in the blood of Jesus, cover the driver in the blood of Jesus, cover the car in the blood of Jesus, the pilot, the plane, yeah, whatever it is you're in, cover it in the blood of Jesus and remove the hindrances so that you get there on time and safely in Jesus name. And you can pray that for other people. These prayers are for you, but they're also for you to pray for other people. Okay, to prayer cover them. That's what intercessors do is they prayer cover other people. OK, if you're looking for protection and a lot of Christians do go into dangerous areas um, and it's important that you, you know, they may have situations where they don't want people to see them, like if the situations, you know, where some missionaries have gone into very dangerous areas where they don't want guards to see them. You can just just ask the Lord, Lord, hide us, cover us under your wings. OK, cover you, cover us under your wing, hide us, Lord Jesus. Another one is um Again, it's to do with the mind and it's the Lord has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power and a sound mind. The Lord has not given me a spirit of fear, but of love, power and a sound mind. Now, there's a lot of Christians I've observed who are during this lockdown living in fear and that doesn't come from God. Fear doesn't come from God. So if you ever have a dream and it's fearful after it, it's not from God. OK, um, I remember my father having a dream about me and uh, instinctively and it wasn't nice what he told me what was happening and he was you know he was disturbed by the dream and of course it wasn't from God and um, so you know it's the Holy Spirit told me it wasn't and not to worry about it you know and it, God doesn't do that in that sense and um, so if it's if there's fear absolute fear in it it's usually not it's not from God and um, so bear that in mind so you have to uh, basically uh, put that over your own head and say uh, the Lord has not given me a spirit of fear but of love power and a sound mind. So you're instructing your mind to uh, be obedient as well to, to, to Jesus and to come under his authority. OK, um, you can just say this is a nice one. Lord Jesus, give me a present from heaven today. Lord, give me a gift or a present from heaven today. Open the windows of heaven over my life. Open, release and open heaven over my life. OK, watch what happens. Um, just another one. Lord Jesus, walk in my with midst and be with me today. So, Lord, be with me today. Walk with me today. I'm not going out here today unless you come with me, Lord Jesus. OK, it's a nice prayer. Um, and this is another one for protection. Lord Jesus, I ask you to protect me, guide me, direct me. Let me get done today what you want me to get done. Order my steps, Lord. OK, so you can take just order my steps, Lord. Lord, be with me today and protect me, guide me, direct me. Let me only do what you want me to do today. Order my steps. Let me do what you want me to do. The next one is, is similar to this and it's Lord, let your will be done in my life. So your will, 
what, like, what, you know, you have a book of life written about everything that you're to do in, in your life for God. You have a reason and a purpose for being here. So let your will be done, Lord, in my life today. And you'll see what happens, how God will orchestrate and your angels will orchestrate things to happen for you. Um, OK, and this is one I, for missionaries as well who are um, going into um, dangerous situations but it could be used for 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 other situations in western world as well and it's lord jesus blind the eyes of these people so they do not see me so it's again cover me uh, cover me in your in your blood and hide me under your wings so there are missionaries who have to deliver bibles uh into uh lands that are where the bible is forbidden like iran and places like that so they would need prayers like this lord jesus blind the eyes of these people say it was a, an, a, a border guard or something like that blind the eyes of these people Lord so that they do not see me okay so these are uh, prayers that can be used in every day um, every day every day um, that you go about your business and go about your life and um, they're important it's important what you say speaking the words out is really important as well God does hear the thoughts in your head the prayers in your heart and in your head because so if you are in a situation where you're in a public situation where you can't actually pray you can pray in your head as well I've done this and God answers the prayers you don't have to speak it out loud but it is very powerful speaking out loud especially when it's from the word of God when the prayer comes from the word of God it's very powerful you can remind God and that's in part two if you look at the prayers in part two speaking the word of God the prayers from the word of God are very important and they're in this as well in this one today I've shown you about um, taking your thoughts captive to the obedience of Christ and creating in, in me a clean heart and renewing a right spirit they're from that's from the word of God so um you can um, just ask the Lord anything you want, absolutely anything you want. Anybody that tells you, you can't ask your father that. Yes, you can. You can ask God anything. You can challenge God. You can do whatever you want. God knows your heart. And if your heart is right, he's OK with that. OK, so you can ask God anything. He is your father. He created you and he wants a relationship with you. So never be afraid to ask him for what you want. OK, and that's what prayer is. And it come before before prayer, there should be thanksgiving as well. You should thank the Lord for everything he's done for you in your life. Uh, to this point. All right, so I hope you've been blessed by that. Check out yeshuasquare.com. That's Y E S H U A S Q U A R E dot com. And we have also a YouTube channel, a Br Brighty on channel, and a BitChute channel. And um, we do teaching videos and uh, testimonials from people around the world um, on how they became born again believers. So um, check out our other teaching videos. Um, and we hope that this blesses you. And uh, we'll continue to do uh, videos that are practical, that, um, you know, they don't, they do not waste your time I hope not anyway and um, they are what, what has worked they're actually stuff that's worked um, so instead of having to trawl through loads of things you have them all here write them down get a piece of paper write them down and start using them um, because they do work so until the next video I will say God bless you and uh, Shalom and uh, we will talk again soon bye for now bye bye